Hi. Nadine, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for doing this. Thank you for taking the time. I just spoke to your lovely cast and caught them unawares with some questions, <laughs> some fun questions. Oh, great, great, good. So good. I might ask you as well in a moment, but uh, huge congrats on the movie. I really enjoyed it. I watched it this morning. Um, tell me about the, the challenges of not just bringing a book to life, but this book, because there's a lot that goes on and there's a lot of kind of visual style, but also lots of messages and thematics and narratives and that kind of stuff. So what was the lure for you in the in the initial instance and did you think that you could take it on immediately or did it take a little bit of time to get your head around it well for sure i think the challenge was we had this the, the biggest challenge of the film besides that we actually shot during the california wildfires and the pandemic which are two competing crises one is like one wants you to wear a mask and only be inside look at the fires and then one you have to wear a mask and be outside so it was hard to breathe let's just put it that way for a lot of the prep for this film um so that was a little scary but then the the emotional challenge of the film is really that it totally i mean this is a film about lenny's grieving her dead sister bailey and falling in love with joe and maybe falling in love with toby her dead sister's boyfriend who she feels like is the only person who gets her grief it, that's a lot <laughs> in a movie to have this like profound loss and really know that the audience has to believe her loss, has to feel her grief, and they have to laugh. The movies are written as a comedy. Um, and so you have to be able to hold both of those things. And so I think we just really tried hard to kind of, um, uh, it took a long, the edit took a long time to find the right balance and to make that happen. But that's also why I wanted to make the movie. It's when to put something that profound at the center of a young adult coming of age story just felt really real. I mean, what could be more profound than dealing with this, all of the hormones and issues of coming of age while also dealing with the loss of your sister? Yeah, and there's some there's some great sequences. There's a there's a musical kind of sequence in there that's kind of one take. There's one in the in the in the square that's kind of one one take. How long did it take you to prepare those? Because I, I it looks like they're all in one take. I don't know if you cheated, but it looks like you didn't cheat. <laughs> we had we had a terrific choreographer Faye Driscoll who helped us with all of the dance sequence at weed sequences, and she. It's amazing. I've worked with her actually a bunch on the last three films I've done because I, I like to sneak dance into a movie no matter what. Um, and uh, it did th that particular sequence went really well because she actually rehearsed for a really long time with the actors. We had you know planned everything. She had rehearsed with the actors before I got there and then it just took some refining. And honestly, doing one take, sometimes I think that's easier because you're not trying to get 20 different angles and you don't have to light different ways. And it was outside, so we weren't dealing with lighting. So um, it was just nailing the choreography and the plan. And uh, we had so much fun shooting it. And I think in a weird way also, when there's one take, everyone knows they have to be on the whole time. So it was just like a fun, you have to rise to that level. It was our little in your two moment, I guess you could say. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, as a final question, then before I have to go, this is something I asked your cast and you can answer as well, because the music's about, about life and death and music and all the other things. If you could pick a song or piece of music to take to heaven with you to listen all the time, or at least while you're up there, what, what would it be? I think it would be either the the two pieces that I'm currently playing on the piano that I'm in that I'm basically take I'm in a, my own personal heaven I have two babies right now and they're really cute so I feel and I always play them the Claire de Lune by WC and um the uh the first gymnopédie by Eric Satie so those are fun those are some ones that we've been enjoying in my house but I'm really a sucker for Beethoven so ideally I would take three and that is maybe like Beethoven's Pachatik Sonata, the whole one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to, it's fun. You can okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, Josie, we'd love to talk to you. Congrats on the movie. I really enjoyed it. I hope it goes uh, splendidly for you. Thank you, Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, hey.